10 most dangerous military jobs in the world. It's only natural that joining the business of war is going to come with its fair share of risks. However, some soldiers carry out a lot more dangerous jobs than others, and if you're considering joining the military, you may be wondering what exactly those positions are. Needless to say, once you see what these brave men and women sacrifice for their countries, you'll grow in appreciation and respect for their perilous duties. So without further ado, let's take at our top 10 picks for the most dangerous military jobs in the world. Oh, and if you didn't think truck driving would make the list, you'll want to stick around for number 3, because falling asleep at the wheel is the last of these guys' worries. Number 10 pararescue. Most militaries have some kind of aviation survival technician, although the British have no officially recognized equivalent of the US's acclaimed Air Force pararescue branch. In any case, these guys' job is to fly in to recover, rescue, and perform initial medical treatment on injured personnel or civilians in combat zones. Any number of things can go wrong on such an operation. On particularly complicated missions, pararescue troopers need to locate and rescue downed personnel from the sea or attend some of the hottest conflict zones, where the risk of getting shot down is huge. Whether it's a well-placed RPG hit or the unpredictability of the weather or any of the risks associated with flying a chopper, pararescue troopers are subject to a whole cocktail of potentially dangerous situations. Number 9. Explosive Ordnance Disposal When you're dealing with highly volatile homemade explosive devices, it's no surprise that Explosive Ordnance Disposal, also known as the military's bomb squad, made this list. Every military has their own kind of EOD specialist, but no matter what bomb squad you're on, they all come with the same risks. These guys spend most of their times clearing minefields or dealing with dud munitions that didn't go off, but could blow up any time. And as if that weren't dangerous enough, the rise of improvised explosive devices without a clear manual all but increased the risk of these soldiers. And aside from disarming, recovering or destroying some of the most unpredictable explosives, these guys are still exposed at the same small arms threats as anyone else. Due to the incredibly high and unsurprising levels of stress involved with the job, many EOD technicians suffer from burnout or, unfortunately, their luck eventually runs out. Number 8. Medics. Is dangerous enough to expose yourself to small arms fires and improvise explosive devices when rushing to treat a wounded colleague, but having a target on your back from enemy fighters who know the psychological effects of taking out the only immediate means of life support the opposing troop has make this job a whole lot riskier. Despite being protected as non-combatants under the Geneva Convention, medics have been targeted by enemy soldiers to demoralize their opponents since World War II. And even despite the Geneva Convention, modern day battles against non-traditional enemy forces with no rules renders this point somewhat useless. One thing's for sure, if you follow the wounded, you follow the danger. Number 7. Infantry Speaking of the wounded, it's not exactly shocking that infantry is one of the most dangerous jobs on the battlefield. Historically, the most casualties in battle have come from this job, but this is probably due to the high volume of troops that fill this profession. These troops search out and destroy the enemy and respond to calls for help when other units stumble into danger. They are the little boots on the ground called on to take and hold territory from enemy forces. Infantry men and women are responsible for patrolling and depend on their tactical guidance, actively engaging in firefights with the enemy. Even off the battlefield, infantry men and women aren't completely safe from potential danger, as there have been numerous documented cases of fatal training accidents, especially during drills where live ammunition is being used. Number 6. Cavalry in similar fashion to the industry brothers and sisters, the cavalry have no shortage of perils and risks of their own. These guys push far into the enemy territory to conduct reconnaissance or surveillance operations in small groups to remain unnoticed. They operate in much smaller force size and rely on their speed and adaptability to complete their missions. Due to the nature of their work, they often find themselves in highly outnumbered conflicts against enemy forces in unsupported territory. On top of their regular duties, if there's a shortage of infantry, the cavalry is often called up to pick up the slack and take hold of territory against enemy formations. If you're an infantry soldier looking for an upgrade in danger, the cavalry is it. Number 5. Aviation Pilots Being a pilot is a huge responsibility on its own, but when enemy fighters are actively doing everything in their power to bring down your aircraft, the fear levels jump up a notch. Pilots and their crews provide powerful battlefield capabilities allowing the military to maneuver when the ground forces are struck. Helicopter crews often enter hostile territories in the midst of enemy fire to complete their transportation missions. Due to their high value in battle and the number of crew that can be bought down with a single shot, they are a high target for enemy fire. Not to mention, large aircrafts aren't exactly discreet and easy to camouflage, making them easy targets for RPGs. So whether you're flying one by yourself or just a passenger, a flying chopper is one of the most dangerous places to be in the war zone. Number four. 
4. Forward Artillery Observer Also known as a Fire Support Specialist or Fister, an Artillery Observer is tasked with going into the hostile territory all by himself and identifying enemy targets, locations, and intelligence for use in operations. Because Artillery is an indirect fire weapon system, the guns are rarely in line of sight of their target, often located miles away. So the Observer serves as the eyes of the guns by setting targets, locations, and necessary corrections to the fall of shot, usually by radio. Not only do these guys have a complete lack of combat support, but they have no supply lines and things can go very wrong very quickly if they get caught. That is why forward observers are highly trained to be independent and subject to a notorious selection process, with only a select few being deemed qualified for this dangerous task. Number 3. Drivers Believe it or not, truck driving and vehicle transportation has become one of the most dangerous jobs in the military. Falling behind the wheel is the least of these guys' problems. Often driving personnel, weapons, and supplies, these guys are the lifeline of the army, and it's easy to see why they'd be targeted by enemy fire. With the recent rise in improvised explosive devices in Iraq, Afghanistan, and other modern battlefields, truck driving has become a high-risk profession in the military. Despite constant updates to design and armor capabilities, the vehicles still present a lot of exposure and opportunities for enemies take out a high value target with a single shot. Unfortunately, there are numerous casualties within this profession. Number two, military rescue swimmer. Scratch that image of Baywatch out of your head for a minute because the US military rescue swimmers are considered right up there with the rest of the special ops community. These guys undergo immensely difficult training and risk a high possibility of capture during wartime. But besides the fact that they have one of the toughest training programs, rescue swimmers face harsh conditions on all imaginable fronts. These guys operate in all weather and war conditions, facing a range of icy water temperatures or hot enemy fire and perform very technical saves often against the winds and waves of mother nature. Be that Hasselhoff. Number one, special operations. If you're looking to wed with danger, look no further than special ops because these guys operate on a whole nother level compared to the rest of the army. Special operations includes a wide range of troops from marine reconnaissance to navy seals. They work in all trains and environments often unknown against overwhelming odds and conduct some of the most difficult missions imaginable. Most of the time, these guys' presence in certain locations is not public info, but the majority of their missions designed to be high stakes and stealthy, special ops work in limited numbers and can find themselves in extremely dangerous situations when caught. Due to the difficulty and danger of their missions, few succeed and qualify to operate within these elite teams. The selection processes for these jobs are so dangerous just by themselves that several cannons have died attempting them. And if you're lucky enough to pass, you're in for a world of ugly. That's it for a list of top 10 most dangerous military jobs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because we will be updating you guys with more and more interesting videos just like this one.